cute. <laughs> Dang it. I didn't even see that. I'm so intent on trying to trick you right there that I didn't see that. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> Rematch. You have to pay attention to every little thing in this game. Okay. I hate Now you can go first this time. This time I'm going to get you. Again. <laughs> Heck, I didn't even see that. Uh, <laughs> okay. You gonna go first or you want me? I went first last time. Okay. Dang it, I lost Wait, again. How? Three. Three. <laughs> did she, did you pick that up? Yes. <laughs> yes. You can pick that up. Like, Mom picked oh. it up from here. And if I put it here to block her, <laughs> then she can cover this one and win. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Finally won again! So this is rematch number what? Four? I think. It's my turn? <laughs> yes. This time I'm gonna win. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see about that. Number five. We're, I'm going to win this one, okay? <laughs> okay. So, rematch number five. This time I'm going to win. Uh, this one you said was three games, maybe? We are not quitting until I win at least one game. Rematch number 55. are over it's time for us to get to work and quite honestly we've been putting off this task that we have to do today because it is just I don't even know how to describe it so the dog brought up an early Christmas present for us a dead skunk and we were like Ugh, no thanks and so I was like, oh boy, what in the heck are we gonna do with it? Because I felt like if we took it out and buried it somewhere, she'd probably just dig it up and bring it back to us. And if we took it down the road a ways and threw it out, she'd probably find it and bring it back to us again. So the only logical thing that I could think of was to burn it. We have a bunch of feed sacks in the barn that we still have not gotten burned yet. So I thought we could kill two birds with one stone by getting all those sacks burned and get rid of the skunk at the same time. Now as I've mentioned in a previous video, we're suspecting that Sweet Pea is expecting kids and if my calculations are right, she should be kidding out um, probably towards the end of this week or sometime next week. My two buddies!
And so that is also another reason why we are wanting to get the barn cleaned out. He's so soft! So now the stall's cleaned out, all we need is some fresh bedding and we're ready for new kids to arrive. I am a little nervous about sweet pea kidding because I've heard that we are supposed to have a snowstorm happening over the weekend and that might possibly be the exact time that Sweet Pea Kids. Speaking of a snowstorm, I am so grateful that we got a big bale recently. So we got a nice stockpile of hay for the animals and we don't have to worry about that. So I guess if it has to snow, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Hey Sweet Pea. So far, our Vlogmases haven't been very Christmassy yet, but I do promise you that we have a lot of Christmas activities coming up. We're planning to make gingerbread houses, and we're planning to do some baking and some candy making, and we built something really special for the goats. I cannot wait to show you guys, but we got to get it finished first before I can show you. And then I'm going to show you how we did it. We're going to go look at Christmas lights. And I hope to get a cooking video or two in. And of course, the arrival of our goat kids will be really exciting. We can't wait for that. And so it's time to get in the house and get something going for supper. So I will guess I will wrap up the video for now. And we will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching.